Hello and welcome to another video from LDRS Creative. Today I am so excited to be introducing our new Seesaw Slider die set. The Seesaw Slider is a die set that helps you make a really fun interactive card. This is what it does. We made an A2 card, but you can play with different card sizes too. It's so much fun, it's really easy to make too, and I can't wait to show you how. Let's go ahead and get started. This die set has all of the pieces that you need to create a Seesaw Slider card. First we have the seesaw die piece that will rotate to move the characters on the card. Next we have the slide track so the characters can move up and down. And then the pull tab, the sleeve die, and finally the circles and ovals, but I like to call them footballs. To create a seesaw slider, we're going to begin by making the slide tracks. I've centered the slide tracks die horizontally, but it is just a little lower than center with its vertical placement. This die will cut two vertical tracks and a special hole in the center. Next we'll use the circles and ovals to make the pieces that slide up and down in the tracks. First we're going to fold one of the footballs in half along the pre-scored line down the center. We're going to set that aside and fold another in the same way. Your next step is to align them in the first track so that their edges are touching in the center. This is very important so that it will move freely up and down through the tracks. On the back side of the card, adhere another one of the footballs or ovals over the top of them so that they will stay into place. Slide it up and down to make sure that it moves freely and that you haven't glued it into place. Next you're going to adhere a circle over the top of them on the front side of the card, double checking to make sure that it continues to slide freely and hasn't been over glued to the card. If you do have excess glue, just wipe it away. Then you'll repeat this process with the other track making sure all along the way that you can still move the pieces up and down through the track. Notice that I have already used a stencil and some of our hybrid inks to blend a background on the front of the card. This is an optional step if you wish to do it. Next we'll add the seesaw piece to the back of the card using that small circle that was die cut in the center. You will need a small brad for this step. Starting at the front of the card, insert the brad from the front to the back through both the die cut center holes in the card and the seesaw. Lay it flat to secure the brad. I like to use a piece of heavy cardstock as a shim when folding out the arms of the brad to make sure that it is not too tight. This will help the seesaw slide more freely. Now we will attach the seesaw to the slider pieces in the tracks using foam circles or squares. Adhere a small foam circle or square through the long oval directly onto the football. Next, adhere a football over the top of that foam circle or square to hold everything into place. This will give the seesaw something to pull the sliders through the tracks. They will also act as a spacer so that it moves freely. Repeat this step on the other side. Be sure to check that the seesaw moves freely when tilted side to side. We'll add the sleeves and the pull tab next. I like to use two sleeves to make sure that the pull tab doesn't wobble when it's pulled. Simply fold the sleeves along the pre-scored lines like so. You will adhere the ends and this will create a little sleeve. The next thing to do is to align them along the edge of the seesaw where the pull tab will be positioned. I like to lay the pull tab into place so that I can see very clearly exactly where I need to place the sleeves. Adhere them both. Next, slide the pull tab through the sleeves and underneath the long end of the seesaw. Adhere a small foam circle or square through the long oval directly onto the pull tab. Adhere another football over the top of the foam circle or square to hold everything into place 
and then pull the tab to test that it moves freely. The next step is to decorate your seesaw slider. I chose the Boardwalk My Stamps and Coordinating Dies to make a super cute boardwalk scene with floating hot air balloons. It's really important to use foam tape to lift up your boardwalk scene in front of the slide track so that it doesn't interfere with the sliding mechanism. This also adds really great dimension to your card. Just make sure that you don't place the foam tape in the way of the tracks. Next, use some adhesive to put the characters in place on the circles that slide through the tracks. You could trim off any excess circles or ovals just a bit if you're using smaller images. Just make sure that you don't trim them too much because you want to make sure they stay in the tracks. Pull the tab to make sure that everything slides freely and watch the balloons go up and down. Next we will add foam adhesive around the outer edges of the back of the card so that we can adhere it to the card base. Just make sure it doesn't get in the way of the mechanism. For the final assembly, I added a really pretty gingham pattern paper over the top of the card base. I centered the card front with the seesaw slider mechanism over the top of the base. I made sure that I used a really good thickness of that foam tape on the back so that when I pull the tab, everything moves freely. I added a really, really adorable Have a Mice Day sentiment from the Boardwalk Mice Stamp Set along with the sweetest mouse floating up on a balloon and another mouse friend walking along the boardwalk to complete the scene. Just watch how this comes together. It is just the cutest and it was so much fun to make. You can make so many really fun interactive scenes and try different card sizes too. The possibilities really are endless and it's so easy and fun to do. I can't wait to see what you make with your seesaw slider. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have the most wonderful day. Bye for now.